Hello there. Hi. It is so nice to talk to you both. I just love this family. The second you see them, it just it's just so incredible. Can you talk about what it's like playing this family? What are they like? They're a really fun, dynamic family. Yes. It's like never a dull moment being in this family. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lots of the, the, all the things that families do, eat, um, laugh, talk, fight. <laughs> they argue. Uh, yeah, all of that. All the, <laughs> all the things that families do, we do. And um, it's a good time. I really enjoy my castmates. And I enjoy my character. I play Lillian, the mom, and I have a great time um, with with just the lines. The writing is so hilarious. I always say, even if I wasn't on the show, I would still be watching it. <laughs> like I, I love it. I can't wait for people to see it. Did you? Did either of you do any research for these th this this role? Because really, there's so much history here. Or was the script the history? I think the script helped a lot, but obviously still had to do some additional research to really like put myself back into what these characters would be feeling and doing on a daily basis. Absolutely. It's a it's, you know, an era gone by. Um, not just in we always, of course, think about the fashion, which is so much fun to to pull up. Like I was just pulling up different types of 60s hairstyles and things um, that I would want to do on the show. That was a lot of fun. But also, <clears throat> excuse me, but also just diving into what was going on during that time um, and layering on the day-to-day -day humanity of it all um, is so important. And I think that's something that people will enjoy when they see our show. Because for, for most Americans, the late 60s, you know, the turmoil that was happening politically and civically was so, it's just such a mark that we all talk about in general. But like in between that, people were still getting married and, you know, you know, doing the things that people do. And so I'm excited that we get to portray um, the everyday mundane in between and in betwixt the drama. Yes, that's a and, drama. <laughs> and the the way EJ's story kind of, you know, weaves in and out of all of this other, all of the other stories, because all the characters have so much story. It's really not just EJ. But I love the the way it handles, the first episode just blew me away. Like, I just, I can't get over how well it handled jumping back into this era 53 years later, really, compared to when the original series debuted. It was only 20 years uh, do you think people still crave to see the 60s, though? I feel like they do because yeah. there's still a lot of parallels from that time and this time. And also people will be able to see themselves portrayed, which maybe they haven't been able to in the past. And I think our show allows people to have nostalgia for being black in the 60s also. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think nostalgia, hashtag nostalgia. OK, um, I think one of our, our executive producers, Saladin, he said something about, you know, we have nostalgia. We want nostalgia, too. Um, and that's so <laughs> it's just so key to, um, you know, enjoying your reflection on your past. But besides that, I think period pieces are having a huge surge right now. There are shows that are based in like the 1800s, the 1600s, you know, our show based in the 1960s. Like, I think period pieces are having such a surge right now um, because the living was different, right? Right now we're in this, this modern, we swipe, swipe, we tap, tap, we can, everything is at the touch of our hands. We're walking around with a telephone in our pocket. But back in the day, there was a dial-up phone, you know, or you had to put have a quarter in your pocket and put it in a pay phone to call somebody if you if you weren't at home. And so I think, um, you know, everybody's getting into records again. Vinyl is hot again. You know, I think people want that sort of tactile, livable, functional things that they can touch. You know, I think we miss wood. We miss metal. Everything is so electronic, you know. So I think this show portraying that era is right on time for, for that sort of human tactile nostalgia that we're all, am I being really nerdy with that? I don't know. I think we're all just like craving it. So that's why we're perfect for it. 
the pace is completely different and, and you can hear that in the music. Did either of you listen to some of the music to get into this mood? Yeah, I have a whole Spotify playlist for the show. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I have to shout out, I, I was just in a film about Aretha Franklin. So like, besides hearing, I was just hearing all the music of the 60s, like all the music of the 60s. Um, and my life, my career has, has put me in a lot of projects that were set in this era. So it just feels right at home to me to hear that kind of music. What's funny is, you know, technically when we're shooting, we're not hearing the music that you will see that's layered into production. But when we're doing certain scenes, we shot an episode where we were dancing. They were playing the playback for us on set and it was so enjoyable to, to dance and groove, you know, to this music. Um, but a lot of times the music that you all end up hearing later, we're acting and we're not hearing any of that, you know? <laughs> so we do, like she has her playlist. You just listen to it on your own. What uh, do you, can you talk a little bit a little bit about maybe one of your favorite episodes. Is there something you can hint at maybe that's coming this season? Uh, my, my, one of my favorites, I'm not even, um, it's not even focused on me. It's focused on her and um, grandpa. The episode about grandpa is it's so funny. It's so good. It's one of my favorites. I can't wait for y'all to meet grandpa. <laughs> that's mine too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's going to be. That's amazing. Good. The, the cast is so good. You've got such a great team. Uh, you know, who, who are some of your favorites to work with, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I love working with everyone. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a good team. <laughs> yeah. Like, no BS. This is a really good team. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I've been on shows where, um, I don't know, there wasn't a so much of a, la a layer of just, just a general layer of happiness is there. You know, it trickles down. And so I feel like our all our executive producers, they all, I guess they just get along really well. So it all just trickles down. Um, EJ, our, our, our little star is amazing. He has jokes almost every day mm -hmm. of the week. <laughs> sometimes so they're jokes. funny, sometimes they're not. <laughs> but the fact that he is committed to bringing <laughs> jokes every day is just chef's kiss. It's amazing. I, lo mm -hmm. I love EJ's jokes. And and uh, she was mentioning oh, yeah. Dulé. Dulé's Dulé. an amazing tap dancer, so he's <laughs> oh. so fun to watch on set, just yeah. tap dancing away. Yeah, when we're like in between, we're just sitting around. Dulé would just be like tap 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 tap, and we just be like, and then then we just sit and watch Dulé until it's time until it's time to shoot another scene. Well, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Wonderful first episode. I I can't wait to see the rest. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You, you too. too.